Okay, we'll briefly go over some very basic VirtualBox networking. Um, the first topic that I'll touch on is the networking setup for VirtualBox as a whole. You can create and set up networks that are accessible by any virtual machine that you have. Um, so the first thing I'll cover is how to actually get to the configuration for the network. So you go to File and Preferences and you open that up <coughs> and in VirtualBox you'll be able to see a network topic over on the left. So you click on network and you'll see two tabs here. You'll see NAT networks and host only networks. And basically what these two tabs allow you to do is configure networks that you can actually connect your virtual machines to whenever you configure them. So um, I like to think of them as a virtual switch or a virtual router that your virtual hosts can actually connect to. So you can configure a network or think of it like a switch that you can later connect to your virtual machines once you create or import those. So the first type I'm going to cover is the host only network. Basically this emulates uh, a switch and if you wanted to create the switch you would um, add the network, click add on the network and you're going to get prompted for a confirmation to create it and then it's going to go ahead and try to create it once you accept it and you see that it's created here and once you create that network you come in here and you can actually edit the settings so you give the the IP address of your virtual network um, I like to think of it as the loopback IP address of the switch uh, you can actually give it an IP address and give it a network mask for that network and this host only network is going to allow you to have a switch or network that your virtual machines can connect to um, but it's isolated so the the switches are connected to the network or, or the hosts are actually connected to the network and you can connect multiple interfaces on those hosts to this network and they can communicate with one another but with the host only network they will not have access to the internet and outside world so they'll only be able to communicate on that network and you can come in here and you can actually create uh, DHCP servers and you can do the settings of the server so you can give it a server address uh, network mask for the server lower address bound if you want to be able to hand out IP addresses to your virtual machines and we'll cover uh, some details of this configuration uh, later whenever we set up the network and actually connect the host to it. So you can see that we connected or we configured this IP address for the host only network and what we can do is we can come into command prompt and we should be able to actually see that adapter created now that uh, it's there. And you can see our host only network here 192.168.129.1, which we actually configured here. The next network we'll cover is the NAT network. Um, NAT network is very similar to the host only networks. Um, it, it's a network that's created on your virtual host or your, your host PC or computer. And what it allows you to do once that network is created is you can have virtual machines created and you can connect the network interfaces of those virtual machines to your NAT network. And what it'll allow you to do is it allows those hosts to communicate with one another over that network as well as reach the outside world. So again, it's like a virtual switch or, or network that you're connecting your virtual hosts to, but it'll also have connectivity out to the internet. So real, real quickly, just kind of show you how uh, you set it up you would just click the add button here and it'll create a NAT network which you can configure and you can configure your own network here we'll just leave it as the default and if you want DHCP uh, to function on there you just keep this clicked um, so whenever you boot up your virtual machine if you have DHCP checked it'll boot up and if you have its interface connected to this NAT network that we connected it'll get an IP address and again be able to communicate with other virtual machines that are also connected to that network as well as reach the internet uh, using NAT through one of your um, interfaces on your computer so that's just a, a basic overview of the types of networks that you can create um, with VirtualBox and later we'll show you how to actually connect your virtual hosts to these networks once you have them uh, created and imported uh, and up and running. Thanks.